Um, we're going to move into your love portion of the reading, okay? So let's see what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's up, YouTube? If you are joining us on YouTube, we, are, we were doing Patreon, but now we are looking into the love portion for Pisces. We're going to be looking at how their person is feeling about them. So let's look at how Pisces person is feeling about them, okay? Make sure you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet. I'm sure you'll want to come back. Hopefully, you'll want to come back. I think you will. Make sure that you guys comment, please. If you get 20,000 views in a week, you get a bonus reading. Capricorn got a bonus last week because they came through. Leo is almost up there, so I don't know if Leo is going to be, be able to do it by um, Thursday. That's when I know. That's when I take the tally is by Thursday because that's when all the other signs are up. And everyone's had should have had a week to get their 20,000. Okay, so let's see. Your person is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person, this was coming up in the Patreon reading. There's some resistance coming off your person, Pisces. Some anger for some of you. I don't know what you did. This person might have even blocked you, okay? They might have even blocked you, or you might have blocked them. Someone blocked the other, someone possibly. Three of Swords, I'm trying to tell you, someone is in your feeling, their feelings over you, Pisces. It was coming up very strongly on Patreon. Someone who wants to be very intimate with you. Some of you, this person's younger than you. They have like the emotional capacity of a teenager if they're not younger than you. I will say that. I'm just getting that first off. But they were sh that's how they were showing up in the Patreon reading too. Very childish. The Ace of Pentacles. Someone who throws tantrums when they don't get what they want. And then we have the Hangman in reverse. That's Pisces energy. We have Taurus here with the Ace of Pentacles. So... Um, Gemini here with the three of swords and the seven of wands is Leo. So Leo, Gemini, Taurus, and Pisces have shown up here so far. Okay. Four of pentacles, Capricorn. So interesting. <laughs> the seven of wands and the three of swords. So their first reaction is to block you out. Seven of wands to be upset with you. Queen of swords. Yes. To be cold to you, to be cold to you. Why, though? What's this Three of Swords? What happened between you two? There was definitely a separation between you two. Some sort of heartbreak energy. What's this Three of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys left this person. You leveled up. You've had some sort of major level up where you've moved on. You've um, started to focus on a business. You've had some sort of big, some sort of level up. That's how this person feels. Like they feel like you've moved away from them and started leveling up with the nine of pentacles. Okay. Some of you could have broke up with this person and you're single now. That could definitely be it. The nine of pentacles is a single card. So this could be someone who sees you leveling up without them and they're, they feel abandoned. They're triggered is what I'm getting. Someone is triggered, but this has to do with their own issues. This has nothing to do with you choosing yourself and doing good, good work for yourself, whatever that may be. What is this Ace of Pentacles about? What is this Ace of Pentacles about? The moon. So this person wants to move forward with you, especially if they're a Cancerian, but there's a lot of fear here or a Taurus. They're afraid of the unknown. So the Seven of Swords, um, Hangman in Reverse with the Seven of Swords. One more. Emperor. Hmm. The crazy thing is this person has the realization. They know that they want you. The Ace of Cups. Yep. They know that they want you. They know that they want you. The Emperor, the Ace of Cups. But they're still in their own way. There's a lot of resistance. This person has a very... They can control their emotions. This is someone who's very good at controlling their emotions. Okay? Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, Libra. Very... Um, Leo. Very good at controlling their emotions. Aries. Okay? So what's going on here is this person is not listening to their heart. They're also not following their intuition because they're afraid of it. A lot of you guys may be mystics, healers. You may be into the esoteric. That could also freak this person out for some of you. You are this person's divine feminine for a lot of you. If you resonate with that, that could also be what freaks this person out. They're an emperor. They want to stay the way that they are. They do not want to change. They do not want to emotionally open themselves up. Okay, They have already feel like you've abandoned them in some way. So now they're going to use that because a lot of times people who have been through trauma, they start to project their trauma or they start to self-sabotage the relationship just to verify their trauma, um, just to say so that they don't get hurt again. They, they, they automatically sabotage the relationship. They do something to, to like, okay, 
um, like Peyton from fucking One Tree Hill, people always leave. Well, Peyton, you were doing fuck shit. That's probably why people left. You know what I'm saying? Because you were, you were, you sometimes you were a bitch, Peyton. Sorry, if you ever watched One Tree Hill, uh, you would have to watch that if you haven't. But that's what comes to mind. You know, Peyton was doing the most. So yeah, people would leave sometimes, Peyton, because you was doing the most. Um, or you know, it would. Just, it's like that's natural. Sometimes people have to go, but she would do things to make people want to leave her, and then say, oh, well, then people always leave. No, that's you trying to confirm that so that way you can say, this is why I don't deal with people, I'm done. It's really just a self-defense mechanism, and that's what this person is doing. They already have received the lesson. The lesson was you leaving them, actually. You actually stopped sparing them from their karma because a lot of you guys were staying attached to this person and um, guarding them from their karma, which was leaving, was which was losing you. So... Because this is Pisces in reverse. So you definitely left this person that had some sort of level up. What you will find is once you disconnected from this person, there was some sort of level up in your life. Okay, There's something that changed for a lot of you. Either it's you got a small contract, you got a job, something happened, you lost five pounds. There's something that changed when you released this person. That was their karma. They lost you. Now, they already got that lesson and they know that they need to make the right move. They know that they need to make this official, but there's a lot of fear. So instead of just accepting that, they're going to be resistant, the emperor. They're going to avoid you. They're going to avoid this ace of cups right now. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to be honest with you guys. They're avoiding this ace of cups. They're letting their pride get in their way. They're letting. It's really their fear. It's really like, I really feel for a lot of you, this is a man. This is someone who's acting from their childhood fear stuff from the past that happened when they were a child that they are still holding on to. They don't want to change. And here's the sun. Here's your masculine. They don't want to change. They don't want to embrace the sun energy. Sun talks about change for me. So right now, this person is resisting a change, the change that they know they need to make so that you two can have a good relationship, a real relationship, okay? Something about this person's upbringing makes them very defensive about commitment. And if you detach from this person to level up because it was needed, it was what you were meant to do, they take that as abandonment, but it's really them just trying to um, self-sabotage and seem tough and well i can't be emotional i can't let pisces in it's that type of stuff so don't take it personal continue to keep experiencing your growth we talked about this on the last reading pisces i feel like this is just a continuation of this energy don't take this person's energy to towards you personal because a lot of this has to do with their childhood wounds um, a lot of this has to do with them not accepting why you moved away from them, okay? So I'm going to do, um, in the extended, we're going to do these signs. Um, I'm seeing Aries and Leo. So we're going to do Aries and Leo. We're also going to do Pisces. We're going to do Cancer. We're going to do Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? Um... Yeah, those are the signs that I saw come out. So we're going to do those signs. So that's Leo, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? Then we're also going to look, um, I've been doing what 2021 is going to look like for the signs. So I'm going to look and see if this relationship is going to follow you into 2021. If it is, what is the advice for it? What's going to be the outcome? Those types of things. So we're going to really look deep in the extended. Um, we're going to really look at 2021 because I feel like we're moving towards that energy. I know we still have another month or so, but I feel like it's time to start looking into 2021. So if you want to follow me over there, check out the extended in the link below. I love you guys. Comment, like the video, and share. Okay? Bye.